Hello everyone, LD3 back with you for another video. Today we are back in the Sunderland career mode, taking on Everton in our second Premier League match. We lost our first Premier League match last episode, but we did win our Euro League qualifying round match. I believe we have the second leg of that today in this episode also. So let's first go take on Everton and win, and then we'll see if we're actually in the Euro League group stages. Okay, so here we are at Goodison Park taking on Everton. I'm sorry if the screen is a little wacky. Um, I'm playing this on a new TV and I can't seem to figure out the video settings to help fix something, so I apologize if that's happening. Um, but for right now, I can see fine. It's just like in a small box though on the TV, so I might have to zoom in while editing and it might mess up some things but besides that we should be good to go but for right now let's go and win this game Kaka, Kaka. oh we're happy oh we're through oh we're through yes we are Mbappe come on let's get your first goal for Sunderland first goal for Sunderland Mbappe oh, oh you were so close oh I probably could have taken an extra touch there but I went a little early and I missed wide, so fantastic. Not. The lens. Oh, who's that on the outside? Gila Boji. Gila Boji, I know you're a center mid. Oh no! You lost the ball in the box. How can you lose the ball in the box? You're a center back, so you're not that great with the ball, but still. Come on. Come on, get the ball back. Get the ball back. That's not getting the ball back! Pickford. Yes, Pickford. Great work. And now run. Run. Not who I was passing to. Psych it. Pass the Kaka. Oh, I couldn't get through. Couldn't get through. I am disappointed in myself. I have dishonored my family with that pass. And now I'm going to dishonor my family even more by letting up a goal. No. Pickford. Jordan Pickford is having the game of his life right now. Short corner. And get the ball. Nope. 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 Stay with him. Stay with him. Stay with him. Stay with him. Someone stay with the ball. Someone stay with the ball. It went wide. Thank you. Let's see if we can get one more chance before halftime. It seems like Everton's getting there one more chance, though. Oh, maybe we have one more chance. Maybe we have one more chance. Oh, bad. Oh. Oh, what a woo. What a way. Oh, Kaka. Kaka. All right. Lens. Good pass the lens. Kaka's basically dead already, and it's already it's only the first half of the foe. The foe! The foe! Oh, what a goal! What a goal and out of time. Yes! Jermaine the foe. I think that was the foe at least. Who was that? Was that the foe or Mbappe? I'm pretty sure it was the foe. But either way, what a goal there. Um, let's see. Yeah, that was Jermaine Defoe. Oh, it went left side. Near post, basically went around a bunch of defenders, just struck it in there. Get us the 1 0 lead at halftime. Fantastic. Fantastic work from the foe. Um, come on, stay with the ball. Stay with the ball. Oh, what, a, what an interception from Gibson. And he's running by himself on the outside. Oh, oh, Defoe, get in the middle. Get in the middle, Defoe. Get in the middle, Defoe. You got it. You got it, Defoe. Oh, no, he went wide. Oh, that was Mbappe. I'm sorry, Mbappe. Why didn't I see it was you? I thought it was the foe for some reason, but Mbappe, you missed wide. Oh, if you were a little further in, that would have been a goal. Oh, no. Get Lukaku off the ball. Get Lukaku off the ball, especially since De La Feu's by himself. No. Oh, thank you. That went wide. Oh, boy. Oh, De La Feo was by himself. And he goes wide. But Ndong, 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 you got this, Ndong. You got this. By yourself. By yourself. By yourself. Oh, get through. Oh, what a move. What a move to get by, everyone. And cross. No. Oh, we might have someone. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I saw that bounce. And I was like, there's no way anyone's getting to that. But Rodwell barely gets to it. And that would have been wide. But now we have a corner. 
We do have a corner, which is good. I like that. Get there. Someone get there. Someone gets to the ball. No? Oh, second good. Okay, we are now in added time. Three minutes of added time. We are taking a corner. Get there. Oh, Defoe. Defoe, nice try there. Nice try, but now we just need to make sure they don't score. One nil wins are how we're going to win this game. One nil is how we're going to win this game. One nil is how we're going to win this game, and it is. There we go. Good win for Sunderland away from home against Everton to get three points early on in the season. That's going to be crucial, especially since we lost the first game. But hopefully now our team will actually be fit for our Euro League qualifying leg two. Hopefully we will. Um, let's go see how the squad's doing. Okay, guys. So uh, Kyle Lauren has accepted our offer. I am very excited. I'm. We're about to bring him in. Um, I think he's going to be mid seventies because he was a seventy two to begin a sim, and it's been a year. Because so I'm hoping he's gone up a little bit. I am bringing him in though. I am excited with him. Let's see how he is. Let's see what he is. He is a. What is he seventy five? Perfect. Okay. So he's a 75 overall striker. He's going to pop right in to our backup striker role. Um, when he when uh, Drew gets back, I think I'm going to have two strikers on the bench because I think if Lauren can improve over this year and get, get better, especially if he gets some playing time, then he should definitely be able to either get past Kaka, Kaka for the attacking mid spot or he can be our second striker within a year or two. So I'm very happy with that. For right now, we are about to go and play an EFL Cup match, actually, against Sheffield United. I thought we were going to be playing the second leg of the EuroLeague, but instead we're doing the EFL Cup. We'll do the EuroLeague match next time. But for right now, let's go play in the EFL Cup. Okay, here we are back at the Stadium of Light for this EFL Cup match against Sheffield United. We should be able to win this game. I did put in like a 1A squad. I took out a couple players. We're basically playing youngsters. Well, not youngsters, but like younger players. Like uh, Defoe is sitting out this match. Kaka is sitting out this match. Uh, Lenz is sitting out this match. Those sort of people. Um... I think I took out uh, Funus Mori too, but Kyle Lauren is getting the start today. Uh, he was a $10 million transfer, which is perfectly fine with me. Um, I think he's well-deserved to do it, but for right now, we're going to go in, play the match, and hopefully move on in the EFL Cup. That's what I want to do this year. I want to win a, I want to win some silverware, so if I, we can win this tournament, I'll be very happy. Uh, we're going to pass it in to Matthews, who is our starting right back today. I'm not sure why he's that far out. But Kyle Lauren. Kyle Lauren in the second minute. Oh, it was actually the fifth minute, but his first shot as a member of Sunderland went over the top. He did take a shot, though. So you know what? Just get him into the game. Let him take a couple shots. Hopefully he'll score. And that was a nice pass and a nice move. There we go. Start running. Start running. Oviedo. Why are you on the right side? I'm not sure why Oviedo's on the right side, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Cross it in. Cross it in. You got someone. Oh. Was that Lauren again? Oh, my goodness. How do you keep missing like that? that oh, just wide. Just wide. Just the curl of the ball got it wide there. So close. What a move by Gibson. And now he's going to have the donk. Wide open in the middle. Long range shot. Oh, deflected. Oh, what an opportunity there. Now Kazri's going to cross it in. Oh, we might have someone we do for the goal. Who was that? Is that Kyle Lauren? Is that Kyle Lauren in his first game with Sunderland getting the goal? Absolutely. Good job. 1-0 Sunderland in the EFL Cup. That was a fantastic cross from Kazri there on the outside. This gets it in. Lauren is right there to put the head to it after a couple early chances. Lauren finally gets the goal. 1-0 Sunderland. Oh, maybe though. Oh, wow. 
I was hoping for whoever that was to go to go behind the defender and like get a cross in, but Madong gets a nice shot on. And now we're gonna have a corner. Kazri takes the shot. We got someone! We got someone that's 2-0. Yes, sir. Who was that? Is that Lauren again? Who was that? It was Kyle Lauren with two goals in his Sunderland debut in the EFL Cup. 2-0 Sunderland. Yes. Alright. There we go. That's exactly what we'd want to see. Kyle Lauren, two headers. He is the heading machine. I might just put him in the starting lineup anyway, just to give him some playing time. Maybe not in the Euro League match, but maybe a few Premier League games. He is having a fantastic performance there. There we go, Kyle Lauren. Two no. Not what I would like to see, especially when it goes into the middle like that, but we're good. We're good, and now Kazri's going to run. Kazri's going to run. Nope, someone's there. We're going to pass to the middle. Oh, we're going to get the pass down there. Oh, what a pass. Oh, what a pass to Gibson. What a pass to Gibson. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted you to do. Lauren for the hat trick. Kyle Lauren hat trick in his first game with Sunderland. 3-0. Yes. There we go. Kyle Lauren, enjoy the fans. You deserve every single minute of the glory and the praise that you are getting right now. That was a fantastic touch there. Get the ball down and just strike it into the corner. 3-0 Sunderland. Yes. We're gonna get the ball to start the second half. Do to do, do. Gonna pass over this way, then we're gonna pass over this way, then we're gonna pass up. That was a nice pass. And now we're gonna pass it over here and pass it inside the right here and lose the ball and lose the ball. And now Sheffield's on the attacking way. I'm gonna keep singing until something important happens because that's usually what happens that we just do nothing for the 20 minutes and then we have a chance to score a goal yes we are about to score a goal yes 4-0 is that Lauren again please tell me it was I want to see a four goal performance from Sunderland please tell me it is yes it is Kyle Lauren what a move what an absolute legend Kyle Lauren is for Sunderland right now. Four goals in the e second round of the EFL Cup. Doesn't mean a lot, but you know what? Four goals in his debut for a club. That is fantastic. 4-0 Sunderland now. Yes. Go. Oh, Mbappe. Can Mbappe score? Can Mbappe finally score? No, he can't. But can Kyle Lauren get five? Oh, Oh, man. He had a great opportunity. A poor shot, though. Goes high. Oh, that was almost five. Okay, we need to tackle now. I know we're up by four goals. However, I would like to keep a clean sheet today. That would be very good. Oh, Mbappe. Mbappe's on the breakaway. Can you finally score on a breakaway? Yes! Mbappe gets his first goal for Sunderland, finally, in the EFL Cup. Fantastic work. Finally, you've been on like four breakaways just in this episode. And you finally find a chance to score. Get that right corner. 5-0 Sunderland in the EFL Cup. Exactly what I want to see. you got to try for the clean sheet. Come on, baby. Come on. Tackle. Tackle, tackle, Pickford. Great save. All right, I'm just going to run out the clock. Jack Rodwell has the pace. Jack Rodwell has the pace, but he loses the ball. Okay, that's fine. Oh, Jack Rodwell. Oh, there we go, Jack Rodwell. Clear it. Clear it. In the game. In the game, ref. In the game, ref. I want the clean sheet. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah, oh, no, not yet. Not yet. They're just going to, they're going to let it go again. All right, they're just going to bring the ball into play. Come on, end the game. I want the clean sheet. Yes, all right. 5-0 clean sheet. Um, Kyle Lauren, four goals. Mbappe with his first goal. Two new players from this season getting their first goals for the club. That's exciting. We move on in the EFL Cup, which is always nice. Let's move on. Okay, guys, so our first match next time is going to be the EuroLeague qualifying match against the Danish squad that I cannot pronounce. 
this is going to be a great match. Um, we're already up 1-0. They got no away goals. I'm not sure if away goals count in this or not, but it's going to be a great match. Hopefully, we can move on and make it to the group stages, but we're going to save that for next time. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop it with a like. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I will see you guys with a new video real soon. Bye.